If you want to turn your name into a color, watch this video. So for the longest time, I was curious on if there was some way, somehow, to have a custom color attached to your name. One that nobody else would have. I know you've seen all the images in the past where it's like, hey, if your birthday is in May, then your color is green. Or if you're born in July, then your birthstone is a ruby. But that was always too surface level for me. And since I always excelled in math and I have a notorious passion for hex codes, <laughs> I figured, why not create a formula that any person can use with a standard calculator? So that's what I did. But first, let me quickly walk you through some prototypes I had. You see, I had some previous iterations of this formula and I kept getting the same colors around the same hex code area. One variation had me using birthdays and turning that straight into a hex code, but that just resulted in a bunch of moody colorways. None of them had the variety that I was seeking. And even though I can convert hex codes in my head, it's not exactly the easiest thing to do for others and isn't even easy to do in a normal calculator. So that's what led to me using the personally inferior but objectively more convenient RGB system. So here's how it works. For my example, we're going to be using a standard English alphabet, but whichever primary language you use, use the corresponding alphabet. All right, cool. So we start by using a thing called the alphabetic numeral system. And this will allow us to assign a number to each letter in your name. So this is where A equals 1, B equals 2, and so on, all the way to Z equaling 26. Still following? Let's keep going. Next, we break down your name into three parts. First name, middle name, and last name. If you don't have a middle name or last name or first name, no worries. Just plug in a zero for that part. It's okay. I still love you. Or if you're one of those fancy terrestrials that have more than four names, then combine whichever name you have multiples of. Now, for each part of your name, add up the numbers you've assigned to each letter. You should end up with three sums. One for your first, one for your middle, and one for your last. See, I had you create three separate sums because these three sums are going to serve as the variables for your RGB values. Your first name represents the red, middle represents the green, and your last represents the blue. See, this is why we need to have rules of three in every aspect of life. It just makes things so easy for plug and play. Anyway, here's where the magic happens. Multiply each of those sums by four. Now, Jared, you're probably asking, why would you use four for this step? Well, surprisingly, it isn't random. And the reason I chose it was quite simple. You take the sum of every singular name on earth, which is what I did, and you use the aforementioned alphabetic cipher, it results in a mean value of around 64, which oddly enough, when you multiply that number by four, you get 256, which in theory would give the highest potential for a variety of colors across the spectrum. Imagination, I feel like I was just doing that for a second. After multiplying, you might end up with a number greater than 255, which is the max value for any color in the RGB scale. If that happens, just subtract 256 from your number until it falls within the zero to 255 range. If that was confusing, no worries. Let me use my name as an example. For Jared, J is the 10th letter of the alphabet, so that value would be 10. A is 1, R is 18, E is 5, and D is 4. For Cross, C is 3, R is 18, O is 15, and S is 19 twice, which adds up to 74. And for Earl, yes, my last name is Earl. E is 5, A is 1, R is 18, and L is 12, which gives us 36. So now we've got 38 for the first name, 74 for the middle name, and 36 for the last name. We multiply each of these values by four and we get 152 for my first name, 296 for my middle name, and 144 for my last name. So this actually serves as a perfect example to showcase the rules of the equation. So the red value is unchanged since it didn't exceed 255, so the value stays at 152. The green value did exceed 255, so we subtract 296 by 256, which results in our new green value being 40. And for blue, just like the red, didn't exceed 255, so it stays at 144. This gives us an RGB value of 152, 40, and 144. Or in hexadecimal is 982890, which I'd say is similar to a dark orchid. Don't you dare try to turn that into a nickname. I will not allow it. But yeah, that's the formula in action. And hey, once you have those final numbers, you've got your RGB values, you can easily just plug them into a color picker. Then convert those into hexadecimal and voila, you've just turned your name into a unique color that's all yours, or at least hypothetically, it's uniquely yours. If someone else has the same code as you with 16.7 million possibilities, it might just be fate giving you a sign. Take them out on a date or 
whatever you kids do nowadays to break the ice. Now, if you're curious to see what color your name creates, grab your calculator and give it a try. And who knows, maybe you'll end up with your new favorite color. Bye.